Basically, it's a web-based tool that's designed to help IT administrators troubleshoot connectivity issues with their Exchange deployments. It simulates different client logon and mail flow scenarios. And when a test fails, as is often the case, sometimes partially failing, the robust report that comes back can be very, very helpful. Let's jump over to a browser running the Remote Connectivity Analyzer. And let's do a very simple test using the peter at trainsignal.com email that I personally use for working with TrainSignal. Now we're going to use the trainsignal.com email address because we're looking to use a production oriented solution. Keep in mind, however, this is a hosted exchange solution, so we're not handling the servers in house on our own. And so as a result, the test will come back with certain failure points even though ultimately my email is working just fine. But that's a good thing because we want you to see what happens when these tests come back with both positive and negative results intermixed. All right, and so here you can see we have the Remote Connectivity Analyzer. Under Exchange Server, we have Microsoft Exchange Active Sync Connectivity Tests. We have Microsoft Exchange Web Services Connectivity Tests. We have Microsoft Office Outlook Connectivity Tests which include Outlook Anywhere and Outlook Auto Discover. And then we have internet email tests for inbound and outbound SMTP. In addition, we have Link, OCS server tests, Office 365 tests. We have a client tab for the Microsoft Connectivity Analyzer tool. And here, if we are having difficulties when it comes to connecting with Outlook, Link, Office 365, we can install this tool to assist us in finding out what the problem is. There's also a Microsoft Link Connectivity Analyzer tool. And then we have a Message Analyzer here, which is currently in beta, but at the time of your viewing, this may be out of beta. In fact, by the time you view this tool, there may be additional tabs up here. And so that just goes to show you that the Microsoft Exchange team is constantly looking to improve the tools that they've provided us. And we can see from the very first version of Remote Connectivity Analyzer to this current version, that they've included all of this additional testing content. So that's really fantastic in terms of being able to help us when it comes to troubleshooting. Now, if we go back to Exchange Server, obviously you can see how this tool is something that is truly valuable when it comes to troubleshooting client connectivity. And perhaps you'll see it on a certification exam, but more importantly, for a production real-world environment, you need to know that this tool exists and you need to know how to work with it. So depending on what you're looking to test, there will be different questions and options that come your way. In our case, let's just test something simple. Let's test Exchange Active Sync. And so here, if we just click Next. All right, so here we can use Auto Discover to detect server settings. We provide an email address. It asks for a domain and username. I can also use the UPN and my password. I can synchronize all items in the inbox folder, ignore trust for SSL. I have to indicate that I must use the credentials of a working account. If I have not verified already, it will ask me to verify the fact that I'm human. And so basically under verification, there's a code that you have to type in to verify that. Once you have that information in, you click Perform Test. And as you can see, the test failed. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, didn't we want to see a positive result? Well, there's no fun in that. If it was always positive, then how would we learn to troubleshoot? So the nice thing about this tool is that it doesn't just tell us that something failed. If we click the little expander here, we can see where it failed. And here you can see that mostly this passed, so everything was working pretty good. What happened down here? It says an active sync session is being attempted with the server. And then if we look at the test steps, it says attempting to send options, this worked out okay. But then attempting the folder sync command on the exchange sync session, this failed. We can get additional details here. And we see that the request was aborted, the request was canceled. Now what I know that you don't know is that actually attempting to connect up with the Active Sync connection here put my account into a quarantine mode on the server. And so 
this is why this is failing right here. But the nice thing to look at here is that all of these things did pass, but there were pieces to these different tests that did not pass. If we expand all, you can see that not everything passed. So as we scroll down here, you can see that there were different pieces that did not pass, and yet it still passed the overall tests as we look at the different test steps. So it's good to be able to see where things failed, and then look to see if there are things that need to be corrected in your environment. Ultimately, in this case, because the account itself is quarantined, it won't pass this test. But I can have the administrator take my account out of quarantine, and then it would pass this test. Don't believe me? Well, I'll prove it. We'll run the test again. And here you can see the test was successful this time. So this is just one test. We can look at the other tests. We can click Start Over. We can choose one of these other tests that we can perform to get more information about our system. But this is really the key tool to client connectivity troubleshooting. So it's important for you to remember that. Now, sometimes the real problem is that we don't have a full understanding of client access. Maybe there are misconceptions, misconfigurations, and so forth. 